Jimmy Kimmel has called for a truce with Sean Hannity after the two feuded over TV shows and Twitter for the past week, the Jimmy Kimmel Live. Host tweeted out an apology after a joke about Melania Trump lead the Fox News correspondent to slam Kimmel on his show, and proceed to feud with him on social media. While I admit I did have fun with our back and forth, after some thought, I realize that the level of vitriol from all sides, mine and me included, does nothing good for anyone and, in fact, is harmful to our country. Kimmel said in a statement released on his Twitter account, upon seeing the statement, Hannity said he would respond to the truce offering on his Monday night show. I am at a tournament with my daughter, I will have a full and comprehensive response tomorrow on Hannity, he said on Twitter. The late night host admitted that the internet fight lead to people verbally attacking his wife Molly McNerney, as well as their 11-month-old son. Even in 2018, the vile attacks against my wife and wishes for death on my infant son are shocking and I encourage those who made them to give their words and actions thought, he continued. I, too, will give my words more thought and recognize my role in inciting their hatefulness. The drama began when Kimmel showed a clip on his show of the First Lady reading to children at the White House Easter egg roll on April 2nd. He then proceeded to make light of her accent. Hannity, who criticized Michelle Obama for years, then took to his own program to attack Kimmel over mocking an innocent woman. He then vowed to keep calling him out until the comedian issued an apology to Donald Trump's wife. I will take Sean Hannity at his word that he was genuinely offended by what I believed and still believe to be a harmless and silly aside referencing our first lady's accent, Kimmel added in his statement. Mrs. Trump almost certainly has enough to worry about without being used as a prop to increase TV ratings. Just to this pop up, I am at a tournament with my daughter, I'll have a full and comprehensive response tomorrow on Hannity. 9 The Steef Box pic.twitter.com slash 7 by Sean Hannity. At Scene Hannity, April 8, 2018 The online battle sparked controversy from both sides. At one point, Hannity compared Kimmel to Harvey Weinstein for participating in a comedy sketch nearly 15 years ago where he asked consenting women to guess what he had stuffed in his pants. Comparing a segment from Comedy Central's The Man Show to a man who's been accused of sexual assault and harassment by more than 80 women was not only unfair to Kimmel, but completely demeaning to Weinstein's countless victims. Kimmel seemingly addressed this comment in his statement when he wrote, I am hopeful that Sean Hannity will learn from this too and continue his newly found advocacy for women immigrants and first ladies and that he will triumph in his heroic battle against sexual harassment and perversion. However, Kimmel's tweets weren't without controversy either. He came under fire for telling the conservative political commentator to get back on top, which many people considered to be homophobic. He responded to the backlash in his statement by saying, I most certainly did not intend to belittle or upset members of the gay community and to those who took offense, I apologize. 